Hey guys, Rock and Robber here this time showing you how to install Championship Manager 2001-2002 edition. So, a lot of people will probably struggle to use their game discs to install it, so you end up having to go online. So, the best one I have found is this one, www.fmscout.com. Please go away, Skybet. I have no interest in you. You go away as well. So you find this site and just as simple as you click download now, I have a folder set up for any games I install, any mods I install, etc, etc. So I just didn't save that into there. Go away, Stam. I don't need to talk to anybody. I know what I'm doing. I'm sure I do. So I just got to wait for that to download. I will... I'll start up the game and maybe show you a few of the um, players you can go for. I will say I very rarely start at a big team. I usually start in Division 2 or 3 or League 1, League 2 as they now are nowadays. But I'll show you a few of the decent, um, certainly decent free players. And again, they probably won't spawn in this one though, my luck, they don't sometimes. Come on, download. Thank you. So extract that to a folder. Scroll back up, double click on it, double click on it again. That'll open this up and then you want to click auto run application, which will start the installer. And you just, you just click yes, next, next, there we go. It installs pretty quickly actually, so that's something about this game. This is a very good one. It's it's my second favourite. I'll be honest, I prefer the prior game to this, but it's a lot harder to find a download for that. And I ended up just settling on this one because it was actually um my dad wanted to play this again. We used to play it all the time when I was younger, when I was a kid. And he just wanted to play it so he had something to do in his spare time, I think. So I found this, gave him the sort of, I installed it on his laptop for him. That's made him happy. And I decided to get back into it as well. So but that's, that's the story behind that. I honestly probably wouldn't have even looked if he hadn't have uh, suggested. Because I don't play it particularly much. One thing you will have to remember is, yes, do that. Um, if your computer ever updates, so if your computer doesn't update, Championship Manager won't run, so you will have to um, uninstall it out of your programs, but then just do the whole reinstallation progress process blah, again. And um, you will be okay because... Uh, all your data saves, see? So I've still got those two. Neither of which are any good. That was just a jokey one, and that one, I think that was just awful, but... I'll quickly start a new one. Just put conference, attribute masking, no, because I'm not looking to have... If you want to have a harder game, do attribute masking, but if you don't, then don't put it on. And if you really want an easy game, go and check out all the broken formations that you can do, because this game has code that you can manipulate to your advantage. There are certain formations where you are... I think you have something like a 90% chance victory in every game. It's something crazy like that because the game can't um, deal with the formation and the tactics you use. Um, oh, what's it called? Oh, without the ball, with the ball. Wibwab, that's it, Wibwab. It's on the formation pages, without the wall, with the ball. And basically you change all those settings around. You use these correct team instruction settings and the game can't deal with it. It's just not built to cope with that particular strategy. So if you look it up, it was tested on somebody. He played about 900 games and he won about 800 and something of them. So that's... That's the easy way to do it. You can download a harder version of the game, I believe. Some of these made sort of like a mod where you can the game is better. But that's only if you're gonna just abuse the 
the WibWab uh, system. You may now remove the CD at any time. That would be blooming clever. There we go. I will be English and you know what? I'm going to go. I am a Peterborough United fan. I will take control of Peterborough United. Mighty Posh. That's the save file name. Stay clear of relegation. I can deal with that. Tyler. <laughs> He is a legend of the club. He's still there at the minute. He's a coach. Awesome guy. Um, right, so some of the best youngsters you can get. I'm going to start with a couple of freebies. He is in this game. Holy hell. Thank you. <laughs> that is brilliant. Sometimes Bob doesn't spawn. It's weird. He's one of the best players in the game if you can get him and sort of get him playing. Um, there's a there's a few really really good strikers in this game. Uh, Lekic, no, it's Lekic. <laughs> yeah, this guy doesn't look like much, but he will be. There is a there's a very good thirteen year old, but unless you're like Man U or something, he's not interested. I can't honestly remember the guy's name off the top of my head, but uh, here's the real. I'm going to show you the two star players really of this game, although one of them won't exist. If you download an update. This is the main man. This guy scores buckets of goals. But the problem is he's Belarusian. So it's very hard to get him. I don't think you can get him in the UK. You can get him in some of Europe I believe. But you can't get him in the UK. He's the best goal scorer in the game. He will score. He will he, he match Pele's record by the end I think. Because he can honestly knock in 40-50 goals a season. Across all competitions. It's ridiculous. And the other guy you want. Now if you want this one. Don't update the game. You, This guy. Tomadira. Not a real footballer. This was actually the name of one of the scouts for the game. Who was going out to see the players. Judge their sort of how good they were. And he came up with this Tomadira. Who doesn't look like much this time. But he is actually the one of the best players in the game. Now... The developers found out at a later point that the scout had done this and they actually removed this character, this player when they did some updates. So don't update your game if uh, if you want to keep this man in. Because he will score you a lot of goals. And some other good gems are... I think Cheltenham are in the Division 3, aren't they? Yeah. Is this man, Michael Duff. Very good player, good defensive mid. Stick in front of your back... Or you can play him as a right back. Either or, he does an excellent job. I have no money. <laughs> We're broke. We're poor. This is not good. Uh, Tom Tonzola Mukoku, another very, very good player. Potential again. There's a lot of players where, you, in this game, if you buy the right players, in five years' time, you could easily win the Premier League. As long as you keep getting promoted, then you've got a good chance because by then they will be absolutely fantastic unlike a lot of these players I mean Christ no old Fen what happened to you you are a decent player in the previous game my god you're awful there's so much rubbish at this team there's a lot of legends there's Oldfield here there's Jimmy Bullard oh dear Jimmy everybody loves you Jimmy but you're not a good player in this Francis Green, Jason Lee, Pineapple Head. <laughs> if only you were better, I'd keep you. Anyway, that's that's enough of that. I've uh, messed around and wasted a bit of your time here, but that's how you install Championship Manager 2001-2002. I might do some more videos on this game. I don't know. It's kind of hard game to um, sort of let's play slash walk through because... There's not a lot more than just clicking through these screens and watching the matches when they turn up. But if people wanted to see it, yeah, I'd be up for doing a few videos on it. Try and chronicle Peterborough United's rise from Division uh, 2 to the Premier League. But uh, if you do want to see that, leave a comment below and I will certainly consider it. So, thank you for watching. hope this has helped you out. And I hope you have some great fun playing this game because it is awesome. So, thank you for watching. See you next time.